As executive director, I oversee all of the programming that's done at the Huntington Arts Council. Let me start by telling you about the major programs that we do here. We have a summer arts festival that we do in coordination with the town of Huntington, where we present 42 evenings of entertainment, arts for the people of Long Island. In collaboration with the New York State Council on the Arts, we handle the decentralization program, Grants for Artists. This is for Nassau and Suffolk County artists. We also have a terrific arts education program that services seven school districts. And the exhibition program works in conjunction with our other programs. The exhibition program is to really remove the lines between all these different kinds of art. The Main Street Gallery features shows throughout the year, a variety of different visual shows go come in here. We have our artist members enter shows, a juror picks which pieces go in the show. We also invite some artists to come in and show their works. A culmination of members and non-members and people who've never been in shows before. It's a place to have happenings, a place to do performances, a place to do lectures, a place to do workshops. It's sort of more of a community center with some terrific art. Anyone can be a part of these shows. We have a process for a juried show like the one we have right now. So we have artists from brand new to seasoned artists in every show. Huntington Arts Council is, is a member organization and we're here to offer services for our members. Uh, one of the services is for our visual artists is the Main Street Gallery, where they have a place to come, enter shows, to showcase the works that they do. We have other services for them where they can, we help publicize their works. We publish arts and cultural news three times a year, which showcases what our members are doing, what's going on in the arts community all over Long Island. With the show being called Wearable Art, I think it helps to expand that idea that the gallery isn't just a place where you hang pretty pictures. Wearable art shows that there is art in pretty much everything we do, and it's a beautiful, eclectic, terrific way of showcasing a wide variety of art. Which was the point of the perspective, the crossover between um, fashion, design, culture, costume, and dress. And the whole process is really uh, communal uh, in terms of in collaborative within the office. We try to fish around our personal resources in terms of finding out who the juror should be. The juror has about a week, week and a half to make their selections, and the artists are given three weeks to get their artwork presentation ready and dropped off here. And then it's up to me and Emily to decide how the show finally looks. So the juror has the vision of what they want in the show. And we have the responsibility of properly displaying it and making sure that every piece is lifted up and highlighted. So it's, it's really balancing everything through the entire process of, you know, everything being elevated. And then from there, we start working on the PR promotion and then putting to this point here, we put the show together. This show, I think, expands the horizon of what uh, a gallery show can be about, and we like to continue expanding horizons. The Arts Council is here for the Long Island community. It supports artists, but we can put the best art possible into what we do, but if the community doesn't come and see the art, there's no point to it. The arts build bridges in the community. It brings people in and it brings artists into the community and together we share, boundaries get pushed, people understand each other all the better through art.